It's your boy ONJJ Stone, aka Black Gritty. Welcome to another episode of Gritty Nights, where we talk about sports and everything that's going on in the sports world. But the first things first, who you got, Kendrick or Drake? I, I just need to know. <laughs> Gary, Ken, Gary, Ken, Kendrick, 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 for Drake. sure. Not Jason? like not like us is bumping all summer. Kendrick and the battle's over. It's, it's over. over. <laughs> it's over. So I, yeah, I had to get that out of the way. You know? uh, Ken, that, it, it, so if you had a movie drop an album drop (laughs) if you broke up with your wife if you got married it doesn't matter what you did this weekend if if your name wasn't lamar or aubrey nobody cared about tom brady had his uh roast nobody watched it cat williams dropped his special nobody talked about it i mean it was a dominant force (laughs) in the media escape like if you were marketing your budget got wiped out this weekend (laughs) cared about you this is a great time to do a bank heist uh overthrow a government like you, you I mean, know. I wake up and like oh somebody yeah. else dropped yeah, I'll be right back. Drop, you know what i mean so you could have you could have got away with literal murder this weekend and no one would have known about it if it wasn't about a rap beef or a review of a rap beef so <laughs> or a meme uh, of a rap beef the memes have meme been great i'm like am i too old to be commenting on yeah, this i feel like i might be I mean, but i'm gonna do it anyway yeah. right uh you know caucasian old and it's all the same thing i, 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 don't, I don't feel black enough and i was like yeah i got to turn my contrast down on myself <laughs> I, 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 was I, I gotta I, 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 I was that's what i'm saying i was you know uh, it was funny because I, I tried to tell Leah about it, and uh, at first she was like, "Oh, I don't care." And then I played her like the the one the Euphoria. And she's like, "Man, he does not like this guy." And yeah, like, that's how everyone. <laughs> like, what did he do? What happened? I'm like, "Yo, I don't know, man." And she says, "She's like, he sounds like an eloquent version of you when you're yelling about something, like you go in on something." She's like, "That's how this sounds. This sounds like a nice version of how you yell at things." I'm like, "Oh, that's a that's a good point." Long story short, on that by the end of the weekend, my daughter is writing this verses yeah. <laughs> about people she don't like. Oh. <laughs> Full bars, bro. Oh like, my god! I've been oh. texting my boy who's like a huge Drake fan about this. I'm definitely gonna let him know about that. That's that's so funny. Yeah, uh, hold on, wait, because it's funny to me. She said, um, "You lucky I didn't call my pops because he got all the ops, all the glocks, <laughs> all the shots." <laughs> Think it's going down even ten years from now. I was like, yo, 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 bro. I was like, drop that shit. It's gonna be a full eight bars, bro. Like she, had, she, and she was flowing. It was rhyming. I was like, who are you mad at? Send Metro the beat. Send Metro the beat. Like EBL, Drizzy. I'll repost that. Damn. Distance that forty nine or something. For yeah, real. for real. <laughs> Damn, fuck the 49ers. Yeah, fuck the 49ers. Yeah, fuck the 49ers. Y'all a sorry ass team. Thanks. Fuck the 49ers. Damn, I hate the 49ers. I hate y'all. I hate the 49ers. Fuck y'all. Bow, 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 bow. Y'all some booty jams. Hey, 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 hey. Y'all a. What, 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 what? On deck. Yo. That you do. Damn. <laughs> I, yo, sometimes I go to sleep at night. Bow, 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 bow. Yo, the yeah. That 49ers song? Right? Yo, like, the wop, wop, wop. Yeah, 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 inspiration for sure. For sure. Hey, that getting whooped up on. <laughs> definitely getting whooped Kendrick's up. has got to be a Raiders fan anyway. He got to be a Raiders fan. So he he definitely about to fuck the 49ers vibe for sure. Oh, God. It's so good. So funny. Do you see they invited both of them on the uh, wrestling? They tried to get them on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. WWE. They, yeah. they, they invited them to d- the NXT. <laughs> Everyone's like, yo, they got to be WrestleMania, man. They can't, they can't be NXT. <laughs> some, some people want to fight. Some people, anything. You know what I mean, so. Celebrity deathmatch in real life. That's how it is, yeah. man. Like, <laughs> That's crazy. So, um, first of all, shout out to Roger in the chat. Ro- Roger, Roger's a real one. Roger wants to get me a job. I appreciate you, Roger. The world <laughs> believed in me. Like Roger did, I wouldn't be hanging out with you guys. I'd be on a <laughs> somewhere, uh, living La Vida Loca. But um, <clears throat> let's start off with the happiness and the positive vibes. The Phillies are doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Uh, again, I- I'm gonna I'm throw it up to you guys because I'd be going in these roles. Harry, how happy yeah, yeah. are you about the Phillies? Because you're you're a positive guy. 
I am. And for me, like baseball is my first love growing up. The Phillies were like my first, you know, diehard Philly sports team that I rooted for. So I remember us being bad. I remember reading articles about, again, I've said this before, probably first team ever to 10,000 losses in the history of Major League Baseball. The runs we had back in the day, the lull, like in my account of, you know, teens and then college years, like it's great. I feel like we, I want, I feel like it's, you know, I don't want to say 2011 again because that was kind of a disappointment, disappointment with how we ended up doing things. But in terms of just feeling dominant and feeling like we belong and like we're going to contend for a little while, um, it feels great. And, you know, again, the guys are rolling. It's weird because I feel like in other sports, they usually, you know, sometimes you're like, it takes a year for a team to mesh. And in baseball, because it's so like individual in the moment, I guess they expect it earlier. But this is the team that I think we talked about potentially them being for the last couple of years. And now they're really showing it. So I feel great. And I think it's gonna be, a, I mean, the summer is going to be great with the Phillies now. I remember it was last year, the year before, like no fills this summer. <laughs> it's the opposite now. So I'm excited. Jason. Man, do we need this after that team that I don't want to talk about yet? <laughs> yeah, so that's we why needed I, that, right? I'm starting to show I'm, 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 right? I'm happy. <laughs> much fun. You just wait for something big to happen, and it just happens every time. I saw people earlier today during the game. They're like, Bryce just needs to hit a grand slam right here. And then people are like, oh, shit, he hit it. Like, <laughs> and it happens right away, right? You look at the lineup today, and you're like, this is a lost lineup against the American League Pitcher of the Month in April. And you're like, this is a lost lineup. Four innings later, they're up eight nothing. Like this team just smashes the ball constantly. It's insane to watch. The pitching's so good. I like right now they have no holes. No holes. No holes. Okay, so <laughs> see, this why I let this why I let these <laughs> baseball nerds go first. First and foremost, <laughs> Bryce Harper, thank you for choosing me. You are the sexiest man in baseball, and I appreciate you. I love you so much with all my heart. You'll never watch any of these shows. You'll never hear the sound of my voice. It doesn't matter. He might. He, still, might, he might. He might. Hey, he might. Look, it, just in case, I don't want to make it weird. In case, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for choosing me, Bryce. I, I've waited so long for somebody like you to choose Philadelphia, and you came here and your rising tide lifts all ships. And man, alive, like you said, Grand Slam. Oh, he's the king of the moment. He is the pander posse, and I love every piece of pander that he does. And I believe it's real in all my heart. So I love it. <laughs> At the same dang um time. A lot of stuff was being speculated in the air today. Well, this is the best Phillies team I've ever seen in my life. <sighs> I was mad at this team like 30 days ago because yeah. they lost to the Braves and they were losing yeah. dumb games. And they're games that they're supposed to win. Everyone right. who has eyes said the first month and a half of baseball is one of the most favorable schedules. And you can't lose games like they were losing. And now they are not. Right. They are getting hits all up and down the line. Even Casty coming through with a couple of hits last week. Rojas came through at the end to save the day for a game, a game winning hit. And so now you're beating the tomato cans. And the one thing you want in any sport, beat the teams you're supposed to beat. Exactly. <clears throat> because in Philadelphia, there's a lot of times when you don't do that and you get behind the eight ball. So they're doing that. So I know this isn't the best Philly team I've ever seen in my it's life. Not. But it feels like it's the best Philly team I've ever <laughs> yeah. seen in my life because every night they're raking. Wheeler is wheeling a deal. Now, I don't give a ham sandwich if his pitching has gone down from 98 to 95 to 92. Maybe it's the pitch clock. Maybe it's speeding up the top. But you know what he can do? He can move and groove that ball all over the plate. He is working people. He is working people. Like, he's actually getting on my nerves because I want him to win all the awards. But uh, Mr. Rangers coming in too, and I exactly. think they're gonna be compete with each other for these awards. So he's their number two now, right? He is their number two. We got yep. and, and uh, Nola is Nola. Nola is a stud. He's not an ace. Right. Nola is a queen or a jack. Like he, he. I mean, if you're playing spades, you can win a lot of hands with him. But you ain't flipping that thing down like you got a ten inch. Right. You, know <laughs> you ain't dipping on nobody at the end of the round. But Ranger is. Rangers out here like, yo, bro, I might be the Joker. I might be the little Joker in this man, <laughs> Jerry boy. I, I, I got six in a possible when I got Ranger out there. Six innings in a possible. He is the coolest guy I know. Like, oh, yeah. he just feels uh, suavemente. All I need <laughs> is love tonight. He be out doing that Rangers. His body temperature, everything just calms down. I'm just so happy, and I'm more happy than I should because I know we're beating a bunch of tomato cans, but that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to go down. And then as you build up along, you build momentum, you can lose a Trey Turner. And then, you, oh, wow, you're swapping it with a guy who used to play every single game, and he's been wasted on your bench coming in and out, hot and cold. Yep. So the Phillies are fighting. 
Stay loose and sexy, like Brandon ah! Marsh said. Man, talk Brandon Marsh. That's the thing, like, right? We made it to the World Series and should have made it last year with not the with not Brandon Marsh and Bohm being this hot. Right. I mean, Bohm played, you know, he hit well last postseason for the most part, but I mean, this is another level. Like to add these guys to the lineup that we already, you know, had, even though they've been on the lineup, they feel like new guys. I mean, it's if you can sustain this in the playoffs, like this is gonna be scary. Well, okay, so let's bring the party down. That that's my issue, right? Yeah. Like so when people want to complain, like they go right to well in the postseason, like bro, I can't even enjoy this month. Let me enjoy right. the month. Yeah. But yeah, if yeah. we wanted to talk about the postseason, I would say I'm so worried about Topper. I'm so worried about his decisions. I'm still worried about his rotations. The only thing I like right now is knock on wood, a little bit of injury here and there makes you shift who mm-hmm. you're playing where and who's playing what. And you get things. to see new things. You get to see new lineups. Because again, like Harry said, you look at the lineup today, you're like, meh. And next thing I know, Cody's out there with the – he looked like he got the Da Vinci Code unlocked, boy. He was out there <laughs> smacking. I'm like, okay, Cody. Okay, Cody. So it's like, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, Sosa with the RBI trip. Like, it's just like they're doing it. Yeah, they're right. doing it. And it's somebody different every night, it seems. Yes. Yes. Where's Schwarber? Does anybody know where Schwarber is? Wait until June. You know I, that? No, I'm, I'm just asking because like, <laughs> that, that's what I mean. Like – He's Schwarber. actually hitting the ball better than he normally does. His average is a little bit higher right now this year. He's just not driving the ball as much, but he never does till June anyway. So. I know. Then he'll hit what, 18 home runs in June. And sure. Up to up to 10 one now, by the way, in the Phil's game. So, so I don't know uh, what happened. <laughs> was, even the rotation move they did where they put Turnbull in the uh, mm-hmm. bullpen, they did start at Sanchez today and brought him in to finish the game. So just having those two basically be one starter, which works great. And And, and you get to that situation where you're like, man, are they playing too well? No. Are they peaking too <laughs> early? No. 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 It's baseball. It's Win a long season. Right. <laughs> I also I got a ticket on ninety eight plus wins. Rack up these mammy jammy <laughs> wins because I think see this is why I don't like gambling. We talked about this before. This is why I don't play fantasy and stuff anymore because at the beginning of the year, like <clears throat> I know it's the Braves, but I felt like we should open the door, kicking the Braves in the teeth. That didn't happen, and we didn't. Right. And so I'm like, look, this is the same old mammy jammy thing, man. And then we lose a couple more games. It's like, where, where the bats at? Why, why is anything going on? And the, and the, you're wasting the pitching. So I think the fact that I bought that ticket <laughs> made me more angry than I needed. <laughs> and now I'm like, oh, they want pace to get 112 wins. I mean, I I don't even need that. I'm just yeah, saying. Pinky I, up, pinky up. Just sipping. Gonna, <laughs> drop some here and there, and and that's. I'll take 112. I'll, I'll be over there. <laughs> hey, look, hey, look. I'll take 102. I'll take 100. Uh, just. Just imagine that, right? Like a hundred win season. Man. You know what I mean? I like, just want them to win the division. I'll take that for yeah. starters. We haven't done that in so long. And and that again, that's what I wanted because that's what they were wanting. Yeah. I, I wasn't mm. even gonna put that on Ricky Bobby, but they were talking <laughs> about that all spring training because that's the, the next eventual step for them. So they have to talk like that. You have to say this is like when you're in NFL, Super Bowl or bust every year. It doesn't matter what you say, like we're playing to win a Super Bowl. Like, and if you don't want to bring it up, you want to talk about it. That's the job. Unless you're the Browns or whoever is the bottom of the barrel at the time, the the Falcons or whatever, you're playing for a chance to win a Super Bowl, and that is your goal to strive to. This, Their goal is to win the division. Yep. Their goal is to do something they haven't done and to improve for themselves. So they're on the right track. They're running up the score. The Phils are fighting. It's all we got. It's all we need. All we got right Mm -hmm. now. All we got is all we need. Um, JT Ramuto. Is he good at baseball? Do you think he's a good catcher? Yes. He's a very good catcher. He's declining, but he's a very good catcher. I, I'm, I hope he doesn't decline anymore. I mean, it's not I mean, it's it's too much because they don't have a good enough backup catcher. That's the problem. That, and that's where I'm yeah. at. That's right. where I'm at with it. I'm like, man, he like I don't like Stubbs. Stubbs has turned me off. Yeah. I'm mad at Stubbs for life now. <laughs> Unless I get a championship, a parade, and he gets to be party animal, I'm mad that he talked about jumping in that pool, and I yeah. lost the Diamondbacks, and I'm blaming it all on him. I'm putting it on him, Ricky Bobby. So um, <laughs> I, I, I'm i looking at JT, and I'm like, man, he gets in these little hot streaks, and then he, I feel like they're playing him too much is my point. Mm-hmm. Of what I'm they do, he's older now for a catcher. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he's been an elite athletic catcher, the pop times and all that stuff over the years, like to, and I, he takes it seriously, right? He, he, I feel like he's really prized the defense, prized running the show as the catcher. So like, he's not going to take that. He's not going to let that be sacrificed, you know, to maintain like maybe hitting at a different level. So I feel like he said, he's got to be at, you know, 
Bryce is the first base and whatever, but find ways to get JT breaks or whatever you can. Because when he's bats hot, I mean, he can be really one of our best hitters, if not our best hitter, even at times. Right. You need him fresh for the playoffs. You can't yeah. have him worn down and unable to contribute then. Um, shout out to IG. Sorry, I missed the comments. They're talking about our rotation being excellent, and it is excellent. Um, I just you know need... we. Oh, sorry. You know yep. what we all need to do about the rotation. What? Every time somebody gives us a home run, we don't have to melt down. I see that all over the all over Twitter all the time. When Walker or, or Nola lets up a home run, everybody <clears> loses it. You're like it's one run. Yeah. Relax. Well, that that's what I was saying about um, Nola. He he's a stud. He's a horse. Yeah. He's he, he's going to give up two home runs a a, a game. I yes. feel like. So, but he shuts everybody else down. Right. And it's fine because the bats still need to come alive. The offense needs to come alive. The defense has been playing out of this world. Again, Nick Castellanos, for all his faults at the plate, he gets hot and he gets cold. Mm -hmm. But on defense, they adjusted him last year, mm -hmm. and he has been lights out in right field. Like, he is – I don't even worry about it. He's solid. And it's the dumbest thing they did. Hey, Move toward towards center and cheat right so right. he can run into the catches. And next thing you know, yeah. he's got his chest out, his chains popping, he's sliding, <laughs> catching everything. And it's just like, oh, he's giving good defense. And and Rojas, like, yeah, okay. Do you see the balls he's catching over his head? Yeah. Do you see him running into the walls? Like he's his athleticism and his quickness is saving yeah. games. When he misses one, it's so confusing. It, <laughs> it, it's it, it, yeah, it yeah, does the hell. It, it doesn't even feel like, real. Yeah. It makes me feel like think about like plays like in football, how it's like you know like one play doesn't win a game, but you think about plays like earlier in the game that are pivotal. Like he is low key. Like we can't see the future of what would have happened, right? But he's low key potentially saving you know big big innings for teams or saving you know runs or saving games. I mean, with the catches he makes consistently, it's it's awesome. So the feels are great. <laughs> how much fun right now? We needed this. Like we we really and not only that they're putting up uh, football touchdown numbers like I mean, like, fourteen runs ten runs six runs like the average is going up and up and up and when you look at the average in the numbers right now it's so skewed but I'll take it like I said there's ups and downs the season it's a long season I'd rather start the season off again beating up and bashing in everybody that we need to especially when I could say they're the best team in baseball and I'm trying to I'm take it slow and be positive. Oh, yeah. uh, like I don't want to. So, that's the thing too. Like I said, like I feel I I'm I know they're not the best for this team ever, right? Because it's the first month and a half of baseball. But I feel like they're the best they're team playing like and it, I, and they're playing <laughs> like it. And you know uh, what's that? That fake it till you make it. Yeah, all right. this faking it. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, just get Casty a little bit cooler. Uh, Roro needs to stop acting like he's Schwarber. I don't need you to hit home runs. He's like. He looks like he's gonna throw his back out the way he swings at every pitch. I'm like, dude, just just contact, hit the <laughs> ball. You're not built like that. And Bohm is just like professional hitter. Professional, yep. That's like, I always took the words right out of my mouth. Totally. When's his contract up. Somebody look that up. When is Bohm's contract? I don't know, but they need we, to we, get him and Stott and Marsh signed long term. Sign. Yeah. Like how the Braves signed all their young guys quick and yes. early. They need yes. To do that. yes. And Marsh needs to be playing every single day. Yeah. I don't care about righty, lefty, lefty, right. I don't care. Marsh has yeah. been consistent, and I feel like he gets out of the groove when you pull him out of the lineup. Right. Yes. Like, you pull him out of the lineup, he goes back in the game, I don't hear from him. He plays two days in a row, Marsh, 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 right. Marsh. I'm like, he needs to be an everyday player. And, I, again, that's the thing with Topper and the way he, you know, his rotations and what he does. And it all is that weird to me that the one guy that plays every day is Castellanos. <laughs> <laughs> like. And he won't give him a day. And, right. and even even when he starts hitting, then he's like, well, I can't take him out because now he's hitting. I'm like, right. well, you don't take him out when he hasn't hit for a month. He didn't hit for like three weeks and you let him sit in there. So I don't I don't know what's going on. I, I just I'm happy. Right. I remember. Hey, remember we signed Bohm to arbitration? Like people were wondering if, you know, is that the right thing to do even at the time? Like how he was performing. So, I mean, <laughs> that was the right move. <laughs> like always remember we are idiots. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's Philadelphia, and I hate it here, so... <laughs> uh.